You know, we are just one day from the midterm elections, and in a sea of red and blue states, Florida has historically been purple, where statewide elections could really go either way. But is that still the case? Our Aaron Parsegian has been looking into it and joins us live with what he has found. Good morning, Aaron. Good morning. Yeah, as the country seemingly becomes more polarized, years of data shows Florida may also be shifting away from its status in the middle, and depending on what happens with tomorrow's election, it could make things clearer. Are you ready to keep Florida free? Republican Governor Ron DeSantis will head into Election Day, leading his Democratic challenger, Charlie Crist, by double digits in most polls. I would just encourage everybody to get out and vote. Four years ago, things were much closer. Governor DeSantis won by just 30,000 votes over Democrat Andrew Gillum in 2018. And even in a year that saw big Democratic gains across the nation, just one Democrat was elected statewide in Florida. Over the last uh, two elections, we've seen Florida shift a little bit more to a light red state. In just a few years, Republicans have flipped voter registration numbers. In 2018, there were 257,000 more Democratic voters in the state. Now, there are 292,000 more Republican voters. Those additions propelled by changing demographics, including a larger number of Latino and Hispanic voters voting Republican, and the hundreds of people who move to Florida every day. Many came seeking less restrictions amid the height of the COVID pandemic. I actually just moved from Hawaii to here, and uh, I support our current governor, and I definitely voted for him. Like new Floridian and Hillsborough County voter Jenny Espina. Just the way Hawaii is run, I, I don't care for how it's run, and I like the way that it's run here, and I'm happy to be here. We have a big uh, Halloween display at our house, and there's a gravestone there that says Florida status as a swing state. Uh, it's pretty much dead now. Peter Shore, show former political operative, now publisher of Florida Politics, says the writing's on the wall. National donors, national operatives, they're not going to be investing here. It's pretty telling that Joe Biden's only been here twice to campaign. The Florida Democratic Party sees things differently, telling 10 Tampa Bay in a statement. In part, Florida is a perennial swing state. It's always going to be close. DeSantis squeaked by with a small margin in 2018 that went to a recount. Regardless, Tuesday's results may shine a light on the truth behind the numbers. If the races are at least five percentage points apart or greater, uh, you would see the trend going towards the party that wins by those percentage points. 10 Tampa Bay political analyst Lars Hafner says right now it's the independents in the state that can still have the biggest impact on the election. Florida is a state that's divided in thirds. How those no party affiliations break is how the state will break. And that's why we're still perceived as a purple state. And a lot of the recent polling has Republicans with double digit leads in every statewide race here in the state. And if that's the case after tomorrow's election, it could be clear what Florida's swing state status is. Live in Tampa, Aaron Parsegian, 10 Tampa Bay.